Jody, a narrow one nil defeat here at Dartford. I think it was clear how much we've improved in the recent games. How do you feel on today's result and the game itself? Obviously, the result is the result. We, we, we've lost. We've got no points. Um, the performance is a different matter, and I have to I have to look and consider performances to see where we're at. And the performances are getting better and better. We're we're much solid, much more solid defensively than than we were at the start of the season and when we were when I first came in. Um, we've created some decent chances today as well, especially in the in the first half um, with Joe Felix. Uh, and, and getting some overloads in and around their penalty area where we pressed well. Um, but the big thing is is the, the change of character. We, we, we've got a togetherness and a, and a character that that will take us a long way um, once we once we start t turning the corner results-wise because lots of things went against us today. The, the goal we conceded was a huge individual error by the young goalkeeper. We didn't fold, we kept going, we stuck at it. In fact, I think we controlled lo large parts of the game. Uh, and then obviously when we were in the game and, and we made uh, two positive substitutions, bringing on Wabs and, and Bagasan to really turn the screw and, and try and get that equaliser, the, the goalkeeper comes out, hesitates when he probably should have headed it and uh, ends up ends up getting a red card. So uh, that made it hard. But then you watch the next 15 minutes and, and we carried on going. We carried on trying to get at them. We carried on trying to break. They didn't have any clear cut opportunities, even though we're down to 10 and we got our left back playing in goal. Um, so there's lots to be pleased with, but you know it's a, it's a results business, obviously, especially when you're down where we are in the league. Um, we, we, you know, we 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 kept Hampton very quietly. We were fourth or fifth in the league. We kept Maidstone very very quiet last week. Uh, who were second or third, and then we've played top today. And, and I think I think it's fair to say we've kept them pretty quiet as well and caused them quite a few problems. So we're performance-wise, we're going in the right direction. But it takes us into a really important month now, where we play Chelmsford, Concord, amongst others, and uh, we're going to need to turn these performances into points. Next in the league, we've got a massive Essex derby against Chelmsford. How important is it that we put in a shift for that one? I think the first thing is is we're putting a shift in every game now. Um, uh, I, I don't see a team that rolls over. Um, we work really hard, we, we, we press well, we, we've got a good shape, we recover well, and we're fighting for each other all the way to the final f final whistle. And, um, you know, t today's a great example of that, a great example of that. Um, and I think that uh, we, we know how important the game against Chelsea is, at least not because of the league position, but it's, a, it's an Essex derby, there's rivalry, there's, per you know, there's, there's local pride at stake. And, um, if we can take the the, the collectiveness, the, the the work ethic, the desire um, from these last two or three games into that, and just be a little bit more clinical in the final third, a little bit more quality, perhaps have more of the ball as well. Um, you know, we, we've got every reason to be positive about that game coming up. But we know that you know they need that they need the result as much as we need the result. So it's going to be a proper tough local derby. And obviously, earlier in the week, Charlie Lee announced his retirement. Um, he started to do really well in the recent games. Do you think he'll be a massive miss for us? Yeah, I think he'll be a massive miss for anyone, to be honest. Once we got him going and he was enjoying his football and he was taking a bit of responsibility and uh, he showed all the qualities that he's had throughout his career. Why he's had, what is it, four or five promotions in his career? Um, and, and we started to see all those qualities and he was really important to the group so we're definitely going to miss him um, but I know how much he was struggling with his with his back between games during games taking taking multiple painkillers to play the games I'm just glad that uh, he was able to leave in the way that he did with the respect of the football club because I think earlier in the season when he when he was struggling with the injuries and whatnot, he, he maybe wouldn't have got that same send off. But he showed everyone what he's about: personality, character, and, and footballing ability-wise. And he, he he got the send off that he deserves. And hopefully, he enjoys his retirement. And and who knows, he might be back someday in in another capacity. We never know. Um, just to just to sort of talk about how things go, Charlie Charlie had been playing there and. Obviously, his injury had caught up with him, and Laurie Wilson went in there, and now Laurie's isolating for 10 days uh, due to COVID regulations. And it's um, it's, a, it's a measure of where we're at, where different players can come into the side now, and we don't look any we don't look any weaker. Um, 
we're, we're definitely making progress. We're definitely going in the right direction, and um, you know, I look forward to the day when when we turn that corner, the weight comes off people's shoulders, and uh, and our good football starts uh, leading to goals and leading to points.